hello guys hope you are doing well uh, today i'm going to uh, make a video uh, to show you some technical steps uh, about uh, hp laser jet pro we have printer here hp laser jet pro mfp m225 uh, we will open fuser unit today and we will change the sleeve uh, so stay with me and uh, watch all the steps Welcome to Smart Tech, guys. Uh, I have printer over here, uh, HP Laserjet Pro. The issue is uh, sleeve is damaged, so we will open the fuser unit, disassemble it, and we will change the sleeve. Then we will return back again the fuser unit. So here we go and see the model number is what and see the steps. Yes, guys. Uh, the model is Laserjet Pro MFP M two two five DW and you can see if i remove the cover okay the sleeve is damaged from here okay the sleeve is damaged from here we will change this sleeve uh, it's fuser sleeve okay so we have to disassemble all the fuser unit to change the sleeve uh, this is the scanner unit okay okay i will show you uh, first of all we will remove uh, side covers okay both side covers we will remove we will remove the scanners and then we will disassemble the fuser unit so here is the steps step number one uh, i will remove the side covers uh, first of all we will remove uh, first one star screw here with the help of star screw driver i will remove the screw okay screw is removed i will keep it here now with the help of uh, flat screw driver we will remove the side cover okay, you can see very smoothly it came out okay side cover is removed okay now we have to disconnect the uh, scanner and uh, first of all the second uh, cover is also we have to remove okay there is one screw should be here also look there is screw here okay look there is a cup on the screw and with the help of uh, star screwdriver we will move the screw okay. screw is removed now with the help of flat screwdriver we will move the side cover it's very really easily uh, moving the one screw uh, one lock is down I have to both use my both hands this guy is uh, side cover is uh, stuck from the downside so we have to remove the first uh, first of all the front cover so if we have to remove the front cover there are two screws here you can see there are two screws one screw is here and one screw is there we have to remove these two screws to disassemble the front cover first of all we remove the front cover then this side cover will be removed so I have to remove the front cover just hold on yes guys uh, I removed the screw two screws was here uh, I removed the screws uh, so there is one cable in the board we have to disconnect the cable and there are two locks uh, on the downside uh, there are two locks on the downside okay the lock is removed okay we have to there is one screw here I will unscrew it. Okay, here we go. So there is one lock here also. Yes, guys, uh, one lock is the right down this yellow sticker. Okay. Uh, we have with the help of uh, uh, okay look lock was here look up upper cover is uh, front cover is removed yes so uh, the main the reason was to remove front cover we have to remove this side cover okay look the side cover is also removed now we have what is left we have to disconnect the scanners and we have to we will remove the scanner 
for move the scanner first of all we will unplug these two cables that are coming from scanner Okay, this uh, cables are removed. Now we will. There is a uh, lock over here. I will show you. Uh, there is lock. This is the lock. Okay. I will uh, pull uh, push this lock up. Then we will remove the scanner. Two locks here. One lock is here, and one lock is right on the right hook. This is the basis. So just hold on. Uh, I remove the locks, and we'll show you how to disconnect the scanner. As I told you uh, before, the, uh, this is the lock. I push, I push the lock little here, and with the flat screwdriver, and this lock I push, and the scanner is. If we see, we will. We, we, we need both hands. Uh, if you can see, uh, the scanner is removed. Okay, the uh, scanner is removed. As you can see, uh, these hooks are uh, inside. So we have to we have to pull the scanner up to disassemble the scanner. I will show you. These are the locks here. These are the locks. Okay, and if successfully scanner is removed. So the next step is, guys, we will remove these uh, bases and we will remove the up cover. There is up cover here. We will remove this up cover. Okay. We have to remove this screw. One screw here, this screw, and this screw, and uh, this the side cover, the back cover also. We will remove it. Now, so to remove the back cover, you can see one screw is here. We will remove this uh, screw. The same uh, on this side. There is screw. We will remove this screw. We have to back cover we have also removed and also to disassemble the fuser unit there are be wires are behind we have to remove this board also okay so i will remove step by step first of all i will, I will remove this board and then we will remove the back cover and also this up cover we will remove uh, there are there is lock here uh, we will remove this lock uh, that uh, that is holding uh, the up cover. This, this is the lock. You can see this lock will remove uh, from here also. Uh, you can see this uh, is attached uh, with the up cover. We will, we, will, we will remove this also with the help of flat screw driver. Uh, this this uh, is I remove from this up cover. And right from the right side also, I removed it from the upper. Now we will pull it. The upper is also removed. So here are some screws. We will remove the screws now. I told you uh, this uh, the screw for the up cover. There is one up cover also. This screw I removed also. And here is here was one screw. I removed the screw. Then we will pull it. Look, this up cover is also pulled. With the, the, there was only two screws. The upper side is also disassembled. Now, okay, here was one screw, I removed the screw and this screw also I removed, now we will, we will pull this and there is some downside, there is the lock, we have to remove the locks. Yes, uh, this is the lock, uh, the right downside, uh, we, will, we will remove these locks, okay, one lock is here and one lock is here. Two locks. Then you can see. I will pull it back. Yes, guys. Uh, this is back cover. I remove the lock, and you can see back cover is removed also. Remove this upper cover. There are two locks. Uh, one lock is here. And one lock is here. Okay. I will remove these locks. And we will remove this cover. And this lock. Okay, this upper 
cover for the fuser uh, after the mold. I will keep it down. Okay, guys, this is our fuser unit. We will remove this fuser. So, uh, first of all, we have one the scanner basement. We will remove this basement, and the other basement is here. So, just keep in notice that uh, this is one screw we will remove, and this screw. And here is one screw and here is one screw these four screws here to uh, remove this uh, basement then we will remove this board all board will be removed because there are wires right uh, behind the board uh, wires for fuser unit so i will remove this uh, main board uh, data it's called data board actually Guys, uh, we will remove the screws from the other one. I will move quickly. Hold on. Yes, uh, I have uh, removed the data board, and, uh, and uh, there is uh, this plate is also fixed uh, with the printer. This screw will be removed. This screw and one this screw, okay. And right here is one inside screw. You can see this screw. This screw if will remove. We will remove all this board. So I will remove the screws, hold on. Uh, for this uh, plate, there is one screw right uh, down this uh, fax motor motherboard. So we have to remove this fax motor motherboard also. So I will remove this fax motor motherboard and uh, then we will remove this plate. You can see, I will remove the screws and I disassemble this uh, fax motor. Okay, this uh, head is uh, screw here right down to remove this plate. I will remove this screw first. Yes guys, I removed the screw and uh, still it's stuck because there, uh, there are two screws here. Okay, one in front side, two screws. We will remove the screw to remove this uh, side plate on. I will remove this screw. That is also removed put here. So here is the main board. Uh, the fuser units wire are connected here. This is power cable for fuser, and this is uh, some DC voltage cable to the sensors and uh, fusers. So we have to remove this cable. And for second, we will first of all we will remove these cables, and secondly, we will uh, remove these basements. These basements for uh, scanners scanner unit we will remove this so if we will not go until we uh, we have to remove uh, disassemble the fuser we have to remove this because this is right down the uh, fuser is right down these basements so there are two screws here as as i mentioned earlier one screw is here look uh, this is one screw one screw is here this four two screws here we have to remove this screw to disassemble this uh, basements we remove the screws four screws two screws from the left side okay then we have to just disassemble this basement and the right side also I remove the screws and also put it here yes here we go guys this is a heater unit finally we reached at the heater unit it is called fuser unit also I will disassemble just remove the power cables and the other cables ok you can see ok ok here is uh, ground cable first we will remove this ground cable okay, here we go then this is fuses cable okay this is sensor cables attached in the motherboard we have to move this cable okay so the cables are removed finally so we will remove these cables from here okay and let's see okay this is the paper sensor down and one cable is the red color cable is coming from the paper sensor one is going to the motor okay so it's now ready to pull the fuser unit 
guys, uh, which tool we have to remove for most of you. First of all, this plastic here. Now, as you can see, uh, this fuser till now uh, we reached uh, in that position that now same like you know printer 1102 and 1005 it's now in the same position of 1102 or any uh, small model of printer there is uh, one plastic here and uh, we have to remove this lock to remove this plastic because uh, right down this plastic there is uh, one screw to disassemble the fuser Okay, this is the plastic I removed. Okay, here they are screws. One screw is here. Okay, guys, and one screw is here. Only two screws, and then we will disassemble our fuser unit. Yes, guys, the uh, screws are removed. And look, you can see the uh, fuser unit is ready to move. One screw more left here. Okay, look, there is one screw more left here. We didn't notice this, notice it before. This is one screw here. We have to remove this screw. Sleeve. Okay, guys. Uh, this is our sleeve that I mentioned earlier. It is damaged from there. You can see it is damaged. So we will change it now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I didn't mention earlier. Uh, this this is the cover for the fuser that I removed uh, early before I removed the fuser. When you will open your fuser, you know you will find one cover over here. There will be two screws, uh, one screw on the right side and second screw on the left side, remove this screw, then this uh, upper cover for this fuser, you can remove this like this. I already removed it, uh, I did forget to tell you, uh, I, before remove the printer, it, this, this uh, cover was removed. Then there downside this cover, there is a fuser sleeve and that sleeve is damaged that we will change right now. Look this sleeve is damaged here. So we have to do guys. Uh, <coughs> You can see one spring over here. We have to remove this spring with the with nose grip, long nose grip uh, from the right side and from the left side. Here is also spring. You can see. Uh, I will show you how to do it. Second thing is uh, when you will change the sleeve, so you have to be careful that uh, in the sleeve uh, there will be two sides. Uh, one side will be the uh, uh, I will show you the si one side is uh, darker uh, the edge darker edge that you have to put on the side of this uh, cable uh, hold on I will show you the sleeve uh, this is the sleeve uh, I have uh, if I will uh, remove from the plastic look you can see this sleeve on the left side there is one <coughs> this sleeve on the left side there is one uh, edge uh, that is uh, different than the sleeve so this edge we have to keep it on that side that side have this cable so this is the very key thing you have to remember before you change the sleeve if you will confuse you have to remember that uh, you have to change uh, you have to put this edge side uh, that is little different than the sleeve you have to you have to keep this side on that cable side okay so now uh, you can see here also the old sleeve is the, that side is near the near the cable <coughs> this is black side <coughs> as i mentioned earlier we have to remove these springs uh, with the with the help of uh, nose player yes guys uh, i will remove this sleeve you can see here with the help of uh, no, nose player we will remove this sleeve okay, you can see like this hold on and then remove the sleeve same like same the other side will apply okay uh, when you will remove the uh, spring you have to be careful that uh, the spring should not be fall down okay now the same way we will move the from our left side okay you can see with the help of no nose 
okay look it will the this is the support for the fuser okay look this is removed so now this is our fuser and this fuser first of all we have to release the cable from here from behind very tight cable okay removed cable you can see guys uh, you can see okay now <coughs> now we will do what we will lift our fuser okay this fuser is lifted this is our fuser okay so just stay with me uh, i will show you uh, uh, how to clean this the fuser inside and uh, how to uh, put a new one look uh, this uh, fuser and uh, we have to change the sleeve we will remove this uh, plastic uh, we will remove this plastic pull, pull out this plastic uh, slowly will not damage the fuser and not damage this cable okay so be careful this plastic is uh, removed so now we will remove uh, this old sleeve uh, you this one down. remove the sleeve and you can see the surface is very dirty uh, with the old grease we have to Clean. You have to uh, before we uh, fix the new sleeve. We have to clean this very well with the flat screwdriver and any fabric or uh, tissue paper. So we have to remove this grease. Uh, then we will put a new grease. So now I will clean with the flat screwdriver and show you the way when how you will clean this. Uh, like for example, if you have the flat screwdriver, you have to clean like this. Okay, have to clean like this. you can see uh, clean it uh, slowly and don't damage the fuser uh, it, this is actually heater uh, very sensitive part okay clean it very well with uh, both hands uh, okay, i have to hold, hold on hold down my phone and then i will clean it well and show you now you can see how it's dirty are and i will after clean look you will see the surface of it uh, yes guys uh, i cleaned it already okay uh, I paused the video then I cleaned it well you can see but how was it looks like before now so we need uh, silicone uh, grease or anything you have any good quality I have the silicone lubricant product uh, this is made in I think USA this is made in USA you can use any good quality uh, to uh, before we wear the sleeve on the fuser we have to put this uh, grease little uh, on the surface here okay and little bit uh, on the upper side and down side okay so i will uh, put the grease then we will then we will wear the sleeve on the fuser yes guys i already uh, uh, put the silicone okay so now i uh, will uh, wear the sleeve on the fuser it's uh, finished uh, we wear the sleeve then we will fix back this plastic uh, on that side then we will fix this uh, fuser to back to the fuser unit our fuser is uh, ready so this is uh, the unit uh, you have to uh, be careful uh, if the pressure ruler is clean look the pressure ruler is also little damage it will work okay but uh, you have to be careful uh, when you are replacing it if there is any damage uh, you can change the pressure ruler also here i will keep it as it is because it still not will damage completely it will work so we will fix the fuser unit fuser here in the unit okay, I have a little plane with the brush we have brush right now uh, so okay. now we will fix our fix our unit fuser into unit yes guys uh, we fixed back this uh, as we removed it and with the help of long nose so we will fix this thing back to uh, back to the this hook okay. look the same tap method will apply from the other side here okay here also we will same like this that we did it on the other side we will put our spring back 
can see. Cannot see well. You can see here. Uh, long nose. Okay, look, it's fixed. Uh, I fix this, and if I will rotate, I will rotate from hair pressure holder. Fuser is rotating, and it's fixed very well. Okay, you have to clean this uh, before you assemble it back. Now we will put our cover, and then we will fix it back in the printer. Now we will uh, return back this part, that upper cover of the. Uh, our fuser unit uh, now step by step that things we remove we will fix it back the as you know uh, we fix the fuser unit with the sleeve now this is a part okay i will fix this part and put the screws here and one screw was here the one was here i will fix it then we will return our uh, fuser unit into the printer uh, stay with me this guy is, uh, now we fixed uh, our fuser back to the printer we will put the screws here uh, this screw one is here and one is here that we removed earlier uh, make sure that you fix it well and there is one lock you can hear it should become over here above so if you will not fix the fuser unit well into the printer so might be it will give an error during the operation so uh, make sure that every screw place is on its place okay and you have to put one screw here another screw is right on the top and one is uh, here on the down okay i fix it well uh, it's very easy okay so you can do it now uh, i will fix the screws and show you the other the, uh, then now step by step after fix the fuser and uh, we will return back the other things and uh, I, I will show you uh, just stay with me uh, let me fix the screws first screws are fixed now okay now this plastic it was here before uh, we will fix this plastic uh, you can see uh, this plastic was here before because the uh, heater uh, fuser's wire will come through with this we will fix this then straight after this uh, we will return our cables from here all cables then we will put over the these uh, uh, the basement of scanner we will put back uh, okay i will fix this and we will show you after the, right after the fixed okay uh, you can see i bring the cables uh, right uh, with this here and we will uh, fix the fuser uh, fuser connector Okay, I will put this cable then this cable will be returned back this is the ground for the fuser uh, just uh, hold on and let me fix these cables fuser cables is fixed also and the ground cable is here we fix the ground cable fine and now we will return back uh, the scanner basements one scanner basement is on the right side another is on the left side uh, now we will fix it then the other step Scanner basements uh, are fixed with the uh, two screws on the right and uh, two screws on the left. These two uh, are scanner bases, and we fixed it. Now, yes, uh, with the help of uh, these two lock for down, we we'll fix the side cover, uh, back door. Sorry. Okay, uh, that uh, the fuser unit cover that we fixed before, it we will fix now. It should not become uh, first. We have to put it. Uh, we have to fix this uh, fuser cover yeah, right now there is a lock here you can see here this is a lock you can see and this two locks okay one lock is here second lock is here we will fix this uh, now uh, this back cover we have to put these two screws here you can see one screw will come over here and one is on the other side uh, to fix it well we will put the screws uh, hold on this is one screw is here we have finished it now we will fix this uh, side plate to fix the board okay hold on stay now we will fix this uh, this is uh, not uh, difficult can fix this uh, just if we move we will fix 
been displayed. One screw was here and one was the right hand side. Don't forget to put this and one screw was right down and two screw was on the front side. Okay, we will put these screws and this pair is fixed. Then we will fix these two boards. One board is fixed mode on and second board is data, data mode. Data boards is fixed. Our uh, fixed modem board is fixed and the uh, two front screws are fixed. Now the, we will fix the upper cover. We have right down here upper cover. Yeah, as you see, this is the upper cover. We will fix it. Same as we removed before, we will fix this. Before we remove the, this upper cover, we have uh, this part. Yeah. This is the we fix this part then uh, upper side of this we will fix that cover okay this is the cover hold on we will fix uh, right now and use both hands okay this upper cover is fixed there is one another cover we will fix it also okay this cover will fix like this then the box will be we will fix the box here you can see the lock is here. Second lock is here. Okay. So the screw is closed like this. All covers are fixed. Uh, now we will put the scanners. After scanner, we will uh, after scanner unit we will fix here scanner unit as I removed earlier. Uh, then we will put the left cover, then the front cover. Okay, guys. Now I will fix the scanner. Scanner unit is fixed. Okay, uh, these are locks that we removed earlier. Okay, now let's fix the scanner unit. We will fix the cables for scanner. Data cables here. One is for automatic document reader. Another is the scanner cables. We will fix the cables. Okay, then we will test our printer. Front cover is also we fixed it. Uh, okay, there is a lock here before. And then we will put a screw here. This is for ground. We will fix this also. And there is one screw here. Uh, make sure that uh, plug this cable for the front panel for touch screen. And uh, uh, okay, uh, we mistaked it uh, before we put the front cover. We have to put this side cover, left side cover. So I will fix, remove it again, to, first of all, because the front left cover have uh, some locks here. Okay, we will remove this front cover, and then first we will, we will put uh, this left cover, then we will put front cover back. All side covers, front covers, and both side covers are fixed. Uh, so now I will uh, run this uh, printer, on this printer, and we will check uh, the quality of the print. And look, it's uh, working fine. So just uh, I will put a paper in the tray. Okay, we will give a test command for copy to see the heater is working fine. The fuser we change the sleeve. It's running up. Uh, it takes initially 20 to 30 seconds, uh, seconds to booting up. So, okay, it started already. I will give the copy command. Start copy. Before uh, there was lines uh, on the paper because of leaf. Yes, here is the uh, output and there is no lines, uh, perfectly working uh, fuser unit. So guys, uh, this was the uh, steps so all, now this printer is working fine. So guys, this was the way uh, that we changed the fuser unit's sleeve, <coughs> hope you understand it very well. Uh, I'm really uh, regret to say that uh, because I do not have another cameraman, so that's why I was uh, pausing the video for after each step. So if you have any question, uh, you can ask me in the comment box. 
okay uh, in any hp laser jet printer if you want to uh, disassemble the fuser unit and you have facing the difficulty you can consult me and i will uh, really appreciate your feedback so now let me say goodbye Just take care